Hello everyone. Today the topic is digital recovery background. Here I have a PPT for you. So let's start. So now we are looking at 2012 top 10 data loss disasters. That there are 10 disasters. Number one, accidental division. Number two, computer virus. Number three, virus corruption because of logical errors. Number four, computer hardware damage. Number five, accidental format. Number six, software crash. And number seven, power failures. And number eight, click noise. Number, number nine, hackers damage. And number 10, natural disaster strike. Okay, so we have a data recovery roadmap. The data recovery come along with data loss. Developed along with appearance of different forms of data storage media and attracted with the digital times feeling. So DR2 starts from in-house customized data recovery program or personal data recovery program owned by ministry or some special data sensitive agencies or field talented individuals. DR2s tend to be a commercial data recovery software or equipment by its great potential market value. Until so far, the core data recovery technologies owned by numbered commercial suppliers and unknown companies or agencies for in-house use. Data recovery usually starts and develops well in big IT developed big cities of developed countries or develop, developing countries. The economy and IT development status are key factors affecting the development of data recovery. The importance to get data back for single PC users or having enhanced data recovery cap capabilities for enterprises, public sectors, has become more and more obvious. People begin to put more focus not only on data recovery tools alone, but considerate data recovery solutions to meet their specific needs. So data recovery today recovers data mainly from hard drives, flash drives, server arrays, SSD, VCD, DVD, cell phones, and so on. And data recovery cases today have logical data recovery cases, and firmware recovery cases, and physical recovery cases and chip off data recovery cases as well. So let's look into the future of data recovery. In the future will be cloud computing and data recovery, SSD data recovery and encryption data recovery. Cloud computing involves integration of network of servers across globe to create one shared supercomputer. So advantages. First, it will in reduce your initial investment, and there is no infrastructure expense right up front. Number two, pay only for the capacity you are using, and that is a further cost reduction. More storage capacity can be purchased as needed. Number three, data access feasibility is super with internet. Number four, in time disaster data recovery possibilities, and number five, will minimize data management cost. So the disadvantagement of cloud computing is it's still young, and with young technologies, and privacy of security of data is the biggest concern. And the impact of forensic investigations on cloud environment was little noticed. The loss of control cost by cloud environments and vendors presents a huge challenge for investigators. Preliminary findings of the computer forensic community in the field of digital forensics have to be revised and, and adapted to the new environment. And the cyber place world is controlled by few magnets in the field, in this field, and it can be also made best used by politics. Besides, all countries need balance in new, in new technologies and society harmony. 
And number four is unknown threats and attack. So are you willing to put all your data on web to be readable by some people if they want? So data computing can affect definitely traditional storage devices. And then data recovery business, but the practical and preferred solutions will be a combination of the two. Local data storage and cloud computing when it becomes mature and stable. Traditional data recovery services or some kind of new data recovery services will keep going as well. So SSD data recovery. Many, many, many SSD failures are in fact unrecoverable because of the remapping tables get trashed. The media, state, uh, the media data is effectively randomized and mixed up with blocks which were marked as corrupted and unusable un even before the SSD, SSD failed or still if the SSD is encrypted. So SSD data recovery there are several facts. One, SSD data recovery is being developed as SSD technology grows. And two, the cost and recovery time from SSD can vary dramatically depending on the manufacturer and specific parameters of the device. Number three, SSD manufacturers are pushing the technology to increase the drive storage capacities while attempting to improve the drive's reliability. With new firmware, different wear levering algorithms and controllers and a revised PCB layout. So number four, SSD has no moving parts like HCD SSD data recovery stores by individual imaging. Each memory chip assemble the individual chip images into a single drive image and extract, extract the data. And number five, with no information about how the data is striped across the memory chips comprising of the full array, the only option is to manually find key file structure indicators and use those indicators to reassemble the data. For example, the SSD with 16 memory chips produce 16 individual chip images, so SSD data recovery is very time consuming and costly. It's very possible several thousand dollars are gone if you need it. So what about the future of SSD data recovery? I don't see good points in the near future of SSD data recovery because not many people afford to several thousand dollars of data recovery even if the SSD sales prices come to HCD, except the following happens. So number one, different SSD manufacturers can follow some kind of manufacturing standards and have their design more stable like HDD. And SSD manufacturers and the data recovery companies or data recovery equipment manufacturers set up partnerships for the protected sharing of sensitive and proprietary technology and technical information about each SSD with detailed knowledge of the device's flash trans translation layer, firmware, controller, and ECC implementation. The biggest problem for, e for SSC data recovery encryption is not a problem if this happens. New technologies and SSD data recovery tools to be created for the damaged SSD. Such data is planning for chip socket rating and chips each time. So encryption data recovery, another emerging trend in the world of data recovery is encryption. Today, many companies have within their information management policies the encryption clause. Encryption has therefore become a near prerequisite for many business. However, this very safely device is what proves sticking point in the event of hardware or software failure. It is essential, consequently, for companies to include data disaster recovery within their information management strategy as a matter of course. 
Besides companies, many individual PC users and other organizations are using various encryption software, some hard drives, some flash drives, and SSD use encryption technologies as well. So in the future, there can be more and more encryption data recovery cases. The data can be recovered in an encrypted or decrypted format. So conclusion is, within the coming five, three to five years, the data recovery market will continue growing and become mature. Current data recovery technologies will be still widely used and expect a revolution later. Thanks for listening.